Hey YouTube, Coin Scavenger here again. Got a great coin here that I'm excited to show you today. Uh, this is a coin that I've wanted for a long time just because it's one of the iconic coins in the hobby. Never bought one before because I've always looked for a good deal, never got one. This time I went through a dealer that I've never really dealt with before or bought anything from him. He gave me an excellent deal on this coin that I couldn't pass up, so I had to get one. I'm excited to show it to you. And of course, it's the 1937D three-legged buffalo nickel. Now the obverse of the coin looks like a normal buffalo nickel with the Indian. What makes this coin so different is on the reverse. i zoom in for you a little bit there. You can see that front leg on the buffalo is almost totally missing. Now the way I understand it is um, basically this is just a mint error coin. At some point in the minting process of these coins, um, one of the mint workers had made a mistake and they didn't put a planchet, the planchet didn't line up right between the dies. And when the dies came together, um, they basically hit the obverse and reverse dies hit together and caused a little bit of damage to the dies. Well, they tried to correct it and one of the mint workers, I believe his name was Mr. Young, had excessively polished the die to try to fit the, to fix the damage to it. And that resulted in uh, the buffalo's leg being almost totally polished off. I do have a, another nickel here that I can show you. This is a 1937D, the standard four-legged example. So you can see there that front leg is fully there compared to the three-legged variety. Now some of the other things that you want to look for is on a normal buffalo nickel, it's kind of it's kind of hard to see, but these letters are touching the buffalo's back. On the three-legged variety, those letters are going to be slightly pulled away from the back of the buffalo. And then also some other things that you want to look for where the die was polished, which was in this area. And on this side, you see some high points there. It almost looks like there's a stream that opens up underneath the buffalo's belly. And that's just one of the things that you want to look for to make sure you know you're not dealing with a counterfeit coin or anything like that. But uh, I'm extremely excited to get this coin. And like I said, I've wanted one for a long time. And just really never had, um, never had a good enough deal on one. Um, normally I don't like going through coin dealers or you know directly to the dealer just because I don't get good deals I normally like buying my stuff from you know people that's decided to sell their collections and things like that just because I get better deals but this time I've got an excellent deal on this coin and like I said I couldn't pass it up so I'm excited to show it to you anyway hope you enjoyed the video thanks